This is a neuron, the most common cell in the human brain. An average adult human brain has about 100 billion neurons, each intrinsically firing, passing on key vital information to thousands of other neurons it is connected to. These neurons that fire an average about 200 times every second are responsible for running the most amazing three-pound organ called brain. And Elon Musk wants to improve it. Well, to be honest, not just improve it, but merge it with artificial intelligence via implants that is connected to your brain, creating a whole brain interface that would be seamlessly connected to the cloud. Whoa, hold on a sec. Does the future include flashing ads directly into my brain? Would I be streaming Netflix directly into my brain without actually watching it? Well, not quite. At least what I could interpret from Elon's Neuralink event last year. So, what is Neuralink? Musk founded Neuralink in 2016, with the aim of making devices that would treat serious brain illnesses, like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's, with the eventual goal of digitally enhancing the human brain, so as to keep up with machines dominated by artificial intelligence in the future. It's actually crazy. We are finally entering into a sci-fi world where one can download and upload memories, have superhuman cognition, and make the entire internet obsolete by telepathically communicating with one another. The key word here is communication. 50,000 years ago, our ancestors invented something called language. It was revolutionary. They were finally able to communicate and share ideas and knowledge and pass it down to the future generation. A lot of things have happened since then. Humanity progressed into the 21st century, making computers, atomic bombs, skyscrapers. But we are still using a 50,000-year-old technology. Okay, let me explain. As I am typing the script in my laptop, there is a considerable lag between what I am thinking and the brain sending signals to my fingers to type. This is akin to watching a YouTube video which lags every second digitally speaking. Now, this microsecond lag may not seem like much, but neurologically speaking, it's akin to having a jet engine inside of a farm tractor. The signals carried by the neurons range anywhere between 70 to 120 meters per second. The brain-machine interface that Musk wants to make is already present. There are many brain-machines interfaces already in market that performs various different functions, but all of them are facing one major issue. 1. Out of all of the information the brain is transmitting, how can I identify the right information and transmit it out of the brain? And 2. How do I send the correct information into the brain? Basically an upload and download problem. Musk plans to implant a group of tiny, microscopic, flexible electrode threads into the brain that detects and records electrical signals in the brain and output the information outside. A high bandwidth, scalable brain machine interface that will connect to the outside world. As many as 3,072 electrodes would be contained in a group of 96 threads. A neurological robot built by Neuralink would insert six threads into the human brain every minute. The threads are smaller than the size of a human hair, with each thread containing about 192 electrodes. Each of these threads would be inserted individually with micron precision by the robot with the aid of a tiny needle. This prevents any brain damage which may be caused by rupturing any blood vessels in the brain. All the information transmitted by the neurons in the brain would be captured by the electrodes in the implants and transmitted wirelessly outside to analyze. As many as 10 implants could be inserted into the brain, which would be connected to a conductive coil behind the ear, with very small wires running under the scalp. Musk claims that the coil would connect wirelessly through the skin to a wearable device that Neuralink calls the Link, which contains a Bluetooth radio and a battery. A USB-C cable provides full bandwidth data streaming from the device to a phone or a computer. The Link is controlled through a smartphone app and can be used to make software updates and fix bugs. The current vision of the Neuralink was demonstrated by Musk just a few months ago, where four little pigs were used to demonstrate the capabilities of the Neuralink implant. Out of the four pigs, the pig named Joyce didn't have any Neuralink implant, while the pig named Gertrude had an implant for about two months and counting. As Gertrude was fed by the handlers, Musk explained the real-time signals that was transmitting information back to a live chart on a display. The neural spikes were being picked up by the electrodes implanted in Gertrude's brain. The Neuralink was able to predict the positions of the joints as one of the pigs with implants ran on a treadmill. The results are truly amazing, as Musk predicts that in the future, People with spinal cord injuries or a severed spine can walk again. Essentially jumping over the broken electrical wires and transmitting signals could give someone the ability to walk again. 
Musk plans to use Neuralink to cure major neurological diseases and even psychological ailments like post-traumatic stress disorder or psychotic disorders, including schizophrenia, etc. Musk claims that the entire process of implanting Neuralink into the brain would be similar to getting a LASIK eye surgery. The system is completely reversible, and according to Neuralink's president, Max Hodak, the entire system would be completely wireless and will last for decades. Musk in the recent Neuralink event claimed that the Neuralink would be akin to a Fitbit in your skull, which would cure paralysis, deafness, and a whole range of neurological diseases. MIT Technology Review, however, refuted these claims by Musk as highly speculative. Musk claims that the device has already been tested on a monkey and is very hopeful to get the go-ahead by the US regulators to start trials on humans. There has been no major breakthrough in the field of neuroscience. Whatever Musk showcased a couple months ago is not game-changing. Scientists and researchers have already been analyzing neural data for years now. Many of the EEG datasets are available online for better understanding. The main purpose of Musk's recent theatrics is to attract talented people to the company. Five of the eight founding scientists have already left the company and Musk is known for his ambitious, over-optimistic timelines. Needless to say, is not making things any better for the company. We don't really know if Neuralink would be able to innovate and solve the problems plaguing mankind. The brain is such a complex organ that when you actually understand what's going on inside the brain do you realize why this is probably the most difficult, strenuous endeavor in the world. Ultimately, the implant is Musk's attempt to achieve some sort of parity with the artificial intelligence. We most probably have to choose in the near future to either simply get left behind and be effectively useless like a house cat, or figure out a way to be symbiotic and merge with AI. The ultimate transformation of human beings by developing sophisticated state-of-the-art technologies that merge with human beings to significantly enhance human intellect and physiology is the ultimate goal of Elon Musk. So we will leave it right here. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Which is to cure important diseases um, and ultimately to help secure humanity's uh, future as a civilization relative to AI.